Okay, hi everyone. This is how to export your movie from Maya into After Effects. All right, so my movie here is 192 frames long and uh, it's at 24 frames per second, right? Uh, it's good just to check into your uh, into your animation preferences just in here that I am in 24 frames per second. All right, so you can see that I've got my camera here, my camera one is what is going to be animated. There it is, it's attached to my ball and you can see here in panels, perspective, camera one, this is just how it's going to look. Right, so let's go in to the uh, render this these settings. First of all, get out of here, perspective, perspective. Right, so let's go to my render settings. Okay, up here, click on my render settings. Now a lot of things we've got to make sure of here. First up, make sure of the path where you're going to be saving your images. All right, now next thing is to go down, give your file name a, pre, a prefix. I'm going to call this uh, yeah, camera one. Okay, good. Image format. Now I can make a movie in QuickTime. Uh, I was just having a bit of trouble with it but it's better to be saving it as images just because you will be, uh, there's less chance of your computer crashing. And if you want to be adding things into, um, into After Effects, it's much better to do it this way. But just for now, I'm just going to save as a JPEG. Uh, make sure that I change the extension, so it's going to be name, which is camera one, uh, underscore hashtag. So that's just going to give us camera one underscore zero one dot jpg. All right, let's keep going down and down and down. Start frame is going to be at one. I'm just going to make this two a two second movie just to be quick. So I'm just only going to be doing forty eight frames a sec. 48 frames. All right, renderable camera. This is one everybody forgets. Make sure you change it to the camera you want. In my situation, it's camera one. All right, this can be really heartbreaking if you set to render it at night, you wake up in the morning and it's just been wasted. Okay, if we were not, if we were using another format, we could make a mask, but because we're in J, we're making a JPEG, we can't. Image size, okay, this has to be consistent. Down here, okay, that should be good. Right, now we're fine. Next step, let's go. Top left hand corner, modeling. Let's go down to rendering and click. Great, and now we can go up to the top here. We'll see a menu item, which is render. Batch render, always good to hit the box and batch render and close. All right, student version. Now you'll see down here in the uh, bottom that it's, we're just, yep, we're rendering now. It's very quick. And that should be our 48 frames. Great, now let's go into After Effects. All right, so create new. Now, this is important step here. I need to go to After Effects, Preferences, and Import. Okay, now I've got to make sure that this number here is the same as the one I had in Maya, which in this case is 24 frames per second. Okay, pretty, very, very important. Okay, now let's hit OK. Now, let's import. File, import, file, and yep, these are my images. I remembered where it was, and I'm going to click on this first one, 
and just make sure that it's import JPEG sequence open. All right, there it is. It's all been um, our image sequence is being recorded. Now I'm just going to click and drag that down to this button here, which is the create a new composition one. Click and drag. Right, so there it is. There's our movie. It's all looking good. Now I'm going to file, export, add to render queue. Right, there we go. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at best settings. That's all okay. But here, output module. All right, format QuickTime. And what I want to do is hit format options just here. And I want my Kodak to be 422 proxy. Right, don't ask me why. Somebody on the internet said this was good. It does compress it very nicely. Okay. Now, next one, output two, camera. This is going to be my fifth, camera five. Where to my desktop, file, format, movie. Excellent. Hit save. And now let's hit the render button. Click. There we go. And we should have our movie done. All right, let's have a look. Uh, to my desktop, camera five, there's our movie. Beautiful. Okay, thanks a lot.